All right, hello and welcome. Brett here with clickmill.co. In this video, I want to show you how to log into Google Search Console. Then we are going to get to the overview. So I'm going to share my screen with you. It is a little confusing because I will show you here. There we go. We're back on Google. The website is search.google.com. Okay, but you cannot actually log in when you go to that. Uh, and this is very common with the subdomain with Google, because if you're going to Google ads, it's ads.google.com, you know, and so each of their sites just has the subdomain in the front of the URL. Now, if I actually go to search.google.com, this is an issue. I'm always getting people that are confused about search.google.com. It just takes you to Google. So you actually have to look up Google search console, search console, oh, well, Google search console. And you'll see Google Search Console and what's the URL, search.google.com. So just be aware of that. That is a little unusual. <laughs> but what you're going to do is you're going to log in. I'm just going to click on this and log into your account. Now, I will tell you once you get logged in, so you don't have to do this ever again, I just save it as a bookmark and I've got Google Search Console right here. So you're going to click on that. You're going to log in. I'm just going to click my handy dandy little bookmark tool here. Okay, now you'll see I'll, I am logged in to Google Search Console. Now, the first thing that I want to tell you here about logging in is you're going to want to check a few things, especially if you have multiple users with different Gmail. So if you have a Gmail for your agency, then you're going to want to make sure you're logged into that. So over here, you'll see I am logged in with the appropriate uh, email. So if you again, if it's your personal email, then you're not going to see the sites you need to see if those accesses are given to the agency email that you're working with uh, or business email. Then the next thing you want to do is make sure you have the right site submitted. Because if you've got, say, 10 client sites or you have two businesses or something like that, you have to make sure that the right site is selected. And so you're going to go to ClickMail. You know, in this case, I have ClickMail.co selected. If I click the down arrow, you'll see our whole list of all of the clients that we have access to. And in this case, I'm not going to do that just for privacy reasons, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So this video is logging in. We are logged in. We're going to be using ClickMail as the example over here as we learn how to use Google Search Console. Now, in the next video, we're going to look at the overview. And in the overview, we're going to be looking at this page right here on the screen and what we're learning about the website with this. We'll see you there.